Welcome to our Piping Engineering YouTube channel. We continue our free piping education videos in this channel. Before starting this video please subscribe to our education YouTube channel to watch more piping engineering videos. You can also benefit from some benefits by membership to our channel. In this video we will show step by step how to calculate the distance between the centers of the elbows in the pipeline, the cut elbows length and the length of the pipe piece between these elbows in the isometric drawing and 3D model view of pipeline. Let's starting pipe tutorial video. We will perform the calculations in this video on a 6 inch pipeline. To find the length of the blue color pipe piece between these two elbows first we must calculate the distance between the centers of the elbows. On next stage we need to find the lengths of the 6 inch cut elbows and finally from the total length between the centers of the elbows we will subtract the lengths of the cut elbows and the gaps for welding. Let's go step by step. As you can see, the 6 inch pipe is first going southwards, then inclined up to a height of 400 mm and then continues horizontally again. At the same time the pipeline has turned 600 mm to the eastwards horizontally looking from the second elbow to the first elbow. For easy understanding of the pipeline turn from the second elbow, the pipeline turn is shown inside the parallelogram. So that the first elbow in the pipeline is located in the lower right corner of the parallelogram and the second elbow is located in the upper left corner of the parallelogram. Two right triangles are formed with dashed lines after the pipeline rises obliquely 400 mm and rotated 600 mm. Let's mark the vertical right angle triangle with blue color and horizontal right angle triangle with red color. The hypotenuse of the vertically blue right angle triangle is the distance between the elbows in the pipeline. Also, let's mark the hypotenuse of the blue right angle triangle with big letter H and the hypotenuse of the red right angle triangle with small letter H. Now let's begin to find the lowercase letter H, which is the hypotenuse of the horizontal red right angle triangle. As you can see the perpendicular sides of this red right angle triangle are 800 mm and 600 mm. We will use the Pythagorean theorem formula in such cases to calculating the hypotenuse of this right angle triangle. According to the Pythagorean theorem, small letter h squared will be equals 800 squared plus 600 squared. Continued to calculate and found the small h squared is equals 1 million. We continue small h is equals 1 million under root. At last we will use scientific calculator and found small h is equals 1000 mm. 1000 mm is the hypotenuse of the horizontal red color right angle triangle and is also one of the perpendicular sides of the vertical blue right angle triangle. Now let's find the big letter h, which is the hypotenuse of the vertical blue right angle triangle. We will use the Pythagorean theorem formula again in such cases to calculating the hypotenuse of this right angle triangle. According to the Pythagorean theorem, big letter H squared will be equals 1000 squared plus 400 squared. Continued to calculate and found the big letter H squared will be equals 1160000. We continue, big H will be equals 1160000 under root. At last we will use scientific calculator and found big H will be equals 1077 mm. 1077 mm is the hypotenuse of the vertically blue right triangle and is also the distance between the centers of the butt weld elbows. In this pipe drawing we can also calculate the degree of rotation of the pipeline. If we mark the rotate angle with the letter B, then B angle will be equal to arctangent 600 divided by 800. Using the scientific calculator, we find that arctangent 600 divided by 800 will be equal to 36.8 degrees. So, we calculated and found that the rotation angle of the pipeline is 36.8 degrees. Now let's calculate cut elbows angles. First we complete each elbow from the back to a right angle triangle, provided that they are on the same plane. Let's paint one of them with blue color and the other with red color. 
As you can see, these dashed lines and the right triangles formed by these lines are equal to each other, so the intersection angle of the elbows will be the same. Let's mark these angles of the elbows and right triangles with the letter A. In a right triangle, the length of one of the perpendicular sides, the adjacent side, is 800 mm and the length of the hypotenuse is 1077 mm. Now we can start to calculate the cutting angle A degree. According to the trigonometric function A degree, will be equals arc cosines 800 divided by 1077. Using the scientific calculator, we find that arc cosines 800 divided by 1077 will be equal to 42 degrees. So, we calculated and found that the cutting angle of the elbows is 42 degrees. Now let's calculate the dimension of the elbows from the center to the end. Formula for calculating center to end distance of such cut elbows is as follows. Elbow length in millimeters is equals tangent, elbow degree divided by 2, multiplying nominal pipe size of elbow NPS, multiplying 38.1. Now we will write details of the 6 inch 42 degree elbow to this formula. 6 inch 42 degree but weld elbow center to end dimension will be equals tangent 42 divided 2 multiplying 6, multiplying 38.1. Using the scientific calculator, we find that tangent 42 divided 2 multiplying 6, multiplying 38.1 approximately will be equal to 88 millimeters. So, we calculated and found that 6 inch 42 degree but weld elbow center to end dimension is equals 88 millimeters. Also, during fit up there should be a gap of about 3 millimeters between the pipe and elbow to be welded. Having this gap is for better root welding. We should take these gaps into account when calculating the length of the blue color pipe section. If we subtract the lengths of the 42 degree cut elbows and the gaps for welding from this total length, we can find the length of the blue color pipe section. So, pipe length will be equal, total length 1077 mm, minus 2 times 6 inch 42 degree but weld elbow dimension 88 mm, and minus 2 times gaps for welding 3 mm. At last we calculate and found pipe length will be equals 895 millimeters. So, we found that blue pipe section length will be 895 millimeters. By using this, we're delighted to provide you free piping education videos designed to enhance your knowledge and skills in the field of piping engineering. Before starting video make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to stay updated with our latest videos. First of all, I would like to express my deep gratitude to our subscribers who became members of our channel. In this video, we'll be showing you step by step how to mark and cut 90 degree elbow to the any degrees elbows with easy method. Let's start our education video. In our previous videos, we learned how to mark and cut a 90 degree elbow to a different degree elbow by drawing a template on a workbench. In this video, we will learn how to mark and cut the pipe elbow using only a tape measure. Let's learn how to mark and cut a 25 degree elbow from a 6 inch 90 degree elbow. Before learning the formula for cutting an elbow by any degree, let's learn arc length formula. We know that the formula for the arc length of the circumference S is equals the circumference of circle C multiplied arc degree A divided by the 360 degrees. Also we know that the formula for the length of the circumference C is equals 2 multiplied P multiplied the outside radius R. So, arc length formula will be S is equals 2 multiplied P31.4 multiplied arc radius multiplied arc degree divided 360 degrees. Let's simplify this formula a bit. Multiply and divide the numbers known to us in this formula. Using the calculator, we find that the 2 multiplied 3.14 divided by 360 will be equals 0.01744. So, the length of the arc, S, will be equal, multiplied by 0.01744, the radius of the arc and the degree of the arc. This formula can be used to find the length of arcs of any degree and any radius. Applying this method, we can calculate the lengths of the elbows cut at different degrees from the outside and inside. Let's learn how to mark and cut 25 degree elbow from a 6 inch 90 degree elbow using this formula. 
We first measure and mark the distance from the outer upper edge of the 90 degree elbow to the length of the 25 degree arc. To calculate this distance, we need to know the radius of the arc according to the arc length formula. If we find the radius of a 6 inch 90 degree elbow, we can easily find the radius of a 25 degree arc. The radius of the 6 inch 90 degree elbow can be found on the elbow dimension chart or we can calculate it ourselves. Let's first calculate it ourselves and then we can check it with a chart. The formula for calculating the length of 90 degree long radius elbows is as follows. Elbow length in millimeters equals nominal pipe size multiplying 38.1. So, 6 inch 90 degree elbow length will be 6 multiplying 38.1. Using calculator and found 38.1 multiplying 6 will be equals 229 millimeters. Let's check this result with a dimension chart of 90 degree long radius elbows. We can see in the chart, nominal pipe size 6 inch long radius elbow outside diameter is 168.3 millimeters and center to end dimension radius is 229 millimeters. An arc with a radius of 229 millimeters is an imaginary line through the center of a 6 inch 90 degree elbow. As you can see, I have shown it in black color. Also, we know the outside diameter of elbow is 168.3 millimeters. Half of 168 equals 84 millimeters. If we add 84 millimeters to 229, which is the radius of the 6 inch 90 degree elbow, the number obtained will be the radius of the outside blue color arc of the 6 inch elbow. If we subtract 84 millimeters from the 229, which is the radius of the 6 inch 90 degree elbow, the number obtained will be the radius of the inner red color arc of the 6 inch elbow. So, outside radius of the 6 inch 90 degree elbow 229 plus 84 will be equals 313 millimeters. Also, inside radius of the 6 inch 90 degree elbow 229 minus 84 will be equals 145 millimeters. That's good we are going very well. I hope you are enjoying video. Now, using the arc length formula, let's calculate and mark the length of the 25 degree arc from the inside and outside of the 6 inch elbow. First, let's calculate the length of the blue color arc on the outside of the elbow. So, the length of the outside blue color arc, S, will be equal, multiplied by 0 0.01744, the radius of the arc 313 millimeters and the degree of the arc 25 degree. Using the calculator, we find that the 0 0.01744 multiply 313 multiply 25 will be equals 136.5. So, the length of the outside blue color arc, S, will be equal 136.5 millimeters. Now let's calculate the length of the red color arc on the inside of the elbow. So, the length of the inside red color arc, S, will be equal, multiplied by 0 0.01744, the radius of the arc 145 millimeters and the degree of the arc 25 degree. Using the calculator, we find that the 0 0.01744 multiply 145 multiply 25 will be equals 63. So the length of the inside red color arc, S, will be equal 63 millimeters. In fact, this calculation and marking should have been done on a piece of elbow. I have shown the inner and outer arc lengths of elbow in two places so that it is easy to understand. Now we will delete one of the elbows and make the marking in one elbow. Now we have two points on the 6 inch elbow. Connect these two points along elbow. This line marked on the 6 inch elbow will be the cutting line of the 25 degree elbow which will be cut from the 90 degree elbow. We saw that if we write the elbow degree and elbow radius to be cut in this formula, we can easily calculate and mark the outer and inner arc length of the desired elbow. By using this method, you can easily calculate arc length and cut any degree elbows.
This education video is finishing here. If you find our content valuable, consider supporting us by sharing our videos and recommending our channel to others. Have a topic you're interested in? Let us know. We're always looking for new ideas to cover. We want to express our deep gratitude to all our viewers who have already become members of our channel. Your support is incredibly valuable to us, and it allows us to keep delivering high-quality content and exclusive benefits. Thank you for visiting the Piping Engineering YouTube channel. We're excited to embark on this educational journey with you. In this video we will learn calculation pipe lengths in the pipelines. Please watch the video until the end, I am sure you will improve your piping knowledge with the information we provide here. This video provides excellent practice information about piping skills for piping fitters. Please subscribe to our channel before starting the video for watch more videos. Let's starting pipe tutorial video. Sometimes it is required to calculate the length of the pipe sections in the piping isometric drawings. We try to explain with examples in this video how to calculate the length of the pipe pieces in the pipeline. This picture that you see in the video is a 2D isometric drawing of the 5 inch pipeline. This pipeline consists these pipe fittings. 3 off 5 inch pipe pieces showing on drawing as item 1, item 2, item 3, 3 off 5 inch weld neck flanges. 1 off 5 inch 90 degree but weld elbow. 1 piece 5 inch equal pipe T. 1 off 5 inch 45 degree but weld elbow. We can find the dimensions of the pipe fittings used in this pipeline from their dimension charts. Let's try to calculate and find the lengths of the pipe pieces used in this pipeline by using the dimensions of the pipe fittings. We will use the 2D model of this pipeline to make your calculation easier to understand. Let's start to calculate the length of the 5 inch pipe pieces item 1, used in the fabrication of this pipeline. In this section of the pipeline, the total distance from the face of the weld neck flange to the center of the 90 degree but welded elbow is 620 mm. To find the length of pipe piece item 1, Subtract the length of the weld neck flange and 90 degree but weld elbow from the total length. Let's first look at the welding neck flange dimensions table. This is chart dimensions in inch of the weld neck flanges class 150. The NPS is nominal pipe size of the weld neck flange and shows on this column. The OD is outside diameter of weld neck flange and shows on this column. The H is the height dimension of the weld neck flange and shows in this column. Since the pipeline in our isometric drawing is 5 inch, we need look at this row. The outer diameter of the weld neck flange with a nominal pipe size of 5 inches is 5.56 inches, which is the millimeter equivalent of 5.56 inches multiply 25.4 equals 141.3 millimeters. The height dimensions of the 5 inch weld neck flange is 3.44 inches, which is the millimeter equivalent of 3.44 inches multiply 25.4 equals 87.3 millimeters. We find out the length of the 5 inch weld and neck flange 87 millimeters. Now, let's look at the dimensions chart of but weld elbows 90 degree long radius. NPS is nominal pipe size of the 90 degree but weld elbow and shows on this column. The D is outside diameter of the 90 degree but weld elbow and shows on this column. The A is the center to end of the 90 degree long radius but weld elbow and shows in this column. Since the pipeline in our isometric drawing is 5 inch, we need look at this row. The outside diameter of the 5 inch 90th degree but weld elbow is 141.3 millimeters. The center to end of the 5 inch 90th degree long radius but weld elbow is 190 millimeters. Also, during a fit up in pipelines, welding gaps of approximately 3 millimeter should be placed between pipe fittings. Having these 3 4 millimeter gaps is for better root welding. 
In our isometric drawing there will be fit-ups in eight places and we should consider these 3 mm gaps when calculating pipe lengths. We have learnt the lengths of the 5-inch weld and neck flange and the 5-inch 90-degree elbow and now we can calculate the length of pipe piece number 1. Overall length 620 mm, minus 5-inch weld and neck flange length 87 mm, minus 5-inch dash 90 degree long radius but weld elbow minus 190 mm, minus twice 3 mm clearance for welding, equals 337 mm. Let's calculate the length of the 5-inch pipe pieces item 2, used in the fabrication of this pipeline. In this section of the pipeline, the total distance from the center of the 90-degree but weld elbow to the center of the equal pipe T is 800 mm. Let's look at the pipe T dimension table to find the dimensions of the 5-inch equal T. NPS is nominal pipe size of the equal pipe T and shows on this column. D is outside diameter of equal pipe T and shows on this column. The C and M are the center to end of the equal pipe T and shows in this column. Since the pipeline in our isometric drawing is 5 inch, we need look at this row. The outside diameter of the outside diameter of equal pipe T is 141.3 millimeters. The center to end of the equal pipe T is 124 millimeters. Let's calculate the length of the pipe piece, item 2. To find the length of pipe piece item 2, subtract the lengths of the 90 degree elbow and the pipe T from the total length. Overall length 800 millimeters, minus 5 inch dash 90 degree long radius but weld elbow minus 190 millimeters, minus 5 equal pipe T dimension 124 millimeters, minus twice 3 millimeter clearance for welding, equals 480 millimeters. Now let's calculate the length of the 5 inch pipe pieces item 3, used in the fabrication of this pipeline. In this section of the pipeline, the total distance from the center of the 45 degree but weld elbow to the face of the weld neck flange is 530 millimeters. Earlier in the video we know that the length of the 5 inch weld neck flange is 87 millimeters. Now, let's look at the dimensions chart of but weld elbows 45 degree long radius. Since the pipeline in our isometric drawing is 5 inch, we need look at this row. The outside diameter of the 5 inch 45 degree but weld elbow is 141.3 millimeters. The center to end of the 5 inch 45 degree long radius but weld elbow is 79 millimeters. Let's calculate the length of the pipe piece item 3. To find the length of pipe piece item 3, subtract the lengths of the 45 degree elbow and weld neck flange from the total length. Overall length 530 mm, minus 5 inch dash 45 degree long radius but weld elbow minus 79 mm, minus length of 5 weld neck flange, 87 mm, minus twice 3 mm clearance for welding, equals 358 mm. We have calculated and found the lengths of the pipe pieces used in the 5 inch pipeline. By using this method, you can easily calculate lengths of pipe pieces in the any pipelines. This tutorial video is finishing here, if you have any question about video, you can write comments in the comments section. You can watch like those videos, by entering the links in the description below, of this video. If you liked our video, please subscribe to our piping tutorial channel, and turn on notifications, to be notified of our new piping tutorial videos in time. We are pleased to provide you with free piping educational videos that we have developed to improve your piping engineering knowledge and skills. This channel is ideal for beginners and seasoned professionals. Before starting the video, be sure to click the subscribe button to be informed about our latest videos. First of all, I would like to express my deep gratitude to our subscribers who became members to help our channel. In this video, we'll be showing you step by step how to read and understand welding symbols in the isometric drawings with easy method. Let's start our education video. Welding symbols are graphical representations used in engineering to communicate essential information about welds and welding processes. 
These symbols are standardized and allowing engineers to effectively understand for weld joints. The basic form of a welding symbol consists of three vital elements, including the following. Ado. The arrow points to the location where the weld is to be applied. Reference line. The reference line is the horizontal line that serves as the anchor for all welding symbols and elements. Designers are using the reference line to show the size of the weld and depth of penetration. The tail. The tail is the last part of the welding symbol, which is drawn at the end of the reference line and used to provide additional information. So, let's briefly explain each one of the basic weld symbols. Fillet welds. Fillet welds are one of the most common weld types in the industry. Fillet welds are defined in the American Welding Society AWS. This weld is used when the joint has two members coming together to form an intersection of commonly 90 degrees. The welding symbol above or below the reference represent the location on which the weld is carried out. If the fillet welding symbol is showing below side of the reference line the weld is carried out on the side of the joint at which the arrow points near side. If the fillet welding symbol is showing above side of the reference line the weld is carried out on the opposite side far side of the joint. When a fillet welding symbols are showing on both sides of the reference line it is called a double fillet weld and the weld is carried out on the both sides of the join. Sometimes fillet welds have circular symbols, which means that the weld will be around all perimeter. Groove welds are very common in the welding industry. In this video we will discuss bevel groove and v-groove types welding symbols. Befell groove weld symbols. A groove weld is defined in the American Welding Society AWS. A weld groove is space between two of the workpieces. All groove welds require the removal of metal from one face, single groove or both faces, double groove of the workpieces. All the different types of groove welds contain similar features. Like the basic fillet weld symbol, the groove weld symbol consists of a reference line, an arrow line, the tail. If the groove welding symbol is showing below side of the reference line the weld is carried out on the side of the joint at which the arrow points near side. If the groove welding symbol is showing above side of the reference line the weld is carried out on the opposite side far side of the joint. When a groove welding symbols are showing on both sides of the reference line it is called a double groove weld and the weld is carried out on the both sides of the join. V-groove weld has bevels cut on both sides of the weld joint. There may be an angle above the V-groove weld symbol, which is the included angle of the bevels. Also, V-groove welding symbol above or below the reference represent the location on which the weld is carried out. If the welding symbol is showing below side of the reference line the weld is carried out on the side of the joint at which the arrow points top side, If the welding symbol is showing above side of the reference line the weld is carried out on the opposite side bottom side of the joint. Engineering drawings sometimes call for welds on both sides of the weld metal piece so that you will see welding symbols written on both sides of the reference line. Other welding symbols are also used in fabrication. We will share information about those welding symbols in our next videos. This education video is finishing here, if you find our content valuable, consider supporting us by sharing our videos and recommending our channel to others. Have a topic you're interested in? Let us know!
We're always looking for new ideas to cover. We want to express our deep gratitude to all our viewers who have already subscribed to our channel. Your support is incredibly valuable to us and motivates us to produce high-quality videos. We couldn't do it without you. Thank you for visiting the Piping Engineering YouTube channel. We're excited to embark on this educational journey with you. We are pleased to provide you with free piping educational videos. This channel is ideal for beginners and seasoned professionals. Before starting the video, be sure to click the subscribe button. First of all, I would like to express my deep gratitude to our subscribers who became members to help our channel. In this video, we'll learn step by step how to calculate the end to end distance of two long radius 45 degree elbows in pipelines the easy and fast method. Let's start our education video. We prepared this video according to 45 degree elbows in 8 inch pipeline. As you can see, in this pipeline, two 45 degree elbows are installed directly together. We will calculate the distance from end to end of these two 45 degree elbows. Remember, this method belongs only long radius elbows. We know from our previous lessons that we would calculate the center to end distance in long radius 45 degree angles with this formula. A is equals nominal pipe size of elbow multiplying 15.8. I will leave the link of that video in the description section below you can enter and watch it. In our example A will be equals 8 multiplied 15.8. Using the calculator, we find that the 8 multiplied 15.8 will be equals 126. The center to end distance of the 45 degree long radius elbow is 126 millimeters. So in our example, each one of these distances will be 126 millimeters. Now we draw a vertical line from the center of one of the elbows and a horizontal line from the center of the other. These lines form a equal sides right triangle. The hypotenuse of this triangle is 252. If we mark these perpendicular sides of the triangle with B, then according to Pythagore theorem formula the squared B plus the squared B will be equals the square 252. I will leave our video about Pythagore formula in the description section of the video, you can enter and watch it. Continue to calculate the 2 times b squared will be equals 63504. We continue to calculate to find b more easily, b squared will be equals 31752. b will be equal to 31752 under the root. At last we will use scientific or phone calculator and found b will be equals to 178 millimeters. Now let's add these three distances together. 126 plus 178 plus 126 will be equals 430. So, we calculated and found that the end to end distance of the two 45 degree elbows in this pipeline will be equals 430 millimeters. This education video is finishing here. If you find our content valuable, don't forget liking and subscribing. Your support is incredibly valuable to us and motivates us to produce high quality videos. We couldn't do it without you. Thank you for visiting the Piping Engineering YouTube channel. We're excited to embark on this educational journey with you. In this video, we'll be showing you how to read bill of materials in the piping isometric drawings, how to easy read the isometric drawings as per arrow directions and how to calculate elevations in the piping isometric drawings in the 8 minutes. Please subscribe to our channel to watch more like useful video, before starting this piping tutorial video. Also, we prepared a 3D model of this pipeline and put the 3D model together with the pipe drawing for you, easy understand this training video. Let's start first to learn bill of materials for use fabrication of this pipeline. This table is for bill of fabrication materials. The numbers of the materials used in the fabricate of this pipeline are shown in this column. The description of the materials used in the fabricate of this pipeline are shown in this column. The sizes of the materials used in the fabricate of this pipeline are shown in this column. 
and the quantities of the materials used in the fabricate of this pipeline are shown in this column. Now let's learn the name and number of pipe fittings used in this pipeline. Item number 1 is shown in several places on this pipe drawing. Now let's look at the bill of materials table. Item number 1 is pipe, seamless, schedule XXS, carbon steel, grade 1060, size is 3 inches, the quantity is 3 meters. Item number 2 is shown in two places on this pipe drawing. Now let's look at the bill of materials table. Item number 2 is weld neck flange, schedule XXS, carbon steel, grade 1060, size is 3 inches, the quantity is 2 pieces. Item number 3 is shown in 5 places on this piping isometric drawing. Now let's look at the bill of materials table. Item number 3 is elbow, 90 degree, long radius, schedule is XXS, carbon steel, grade 1060, size is 3 inches, the quantity is 5 pieces. Item number 4 is shown in two places on this piping isometric drawing. Now let's look at the bill of materials table. Item number 4 is elbow, 45 degree, long radius, schedule is XXS, carbon steel, grade 1060, size is 3 inches, the quantity is 2 pieces. The reading bill of materials in the piping isometric drawing successfully completed. Now, let's learn arrows showing the directions in the piping isometric drawing. Piping engineers to know these arrows well during reading piping drawings. There are six directions in the piping isometric drawings. North direction. South direction. East direction. West direction. Up direction. Down direction. The person reading the drawing should imagine himself facing north, provided that he is in the center of these directions. We will start to read this pipe drawing from this point. The pipeline starts from this flange and extends northwards, a length 197 mm. In this point, the pipeline turns to downwards with a 90 degree elbow, and continue a length 343 mm. Then, pipeline turns to northwards with a 90 degree elbow, and continue a length 1533 mm. In this point, the pipeline first continue to the northwards a length 143 mm then rise upwards 143 mm at angle 45 degree elbow. Then the pipeline extends to northwards with a 45 degree elbow and continue a length 1365 mm. In this point, the pipeline turns to westwards with a 90 degree elbow and continue a length 577 mm. Then the pipeline extends to upwards again with a 90 degree elbow and continue a length 359 mm. At last, the pipeline turns to the westwards again with a 90 degree elbow and continue a length of 540 mm. And reading piping isometric drawing also successfully completed. Now, let's learn elevations showing in the piping isometric drawing. As you can see, the elevation of the starting point of the pipeline is 20,800 mm. Here the level of the pipeline decreased by 343 mm vertical and became 20457. We can easily check the correctness of this elevation. 20800 minus 343 equal is 20,457 mm. Then the pipeline continued horizontally, therefore elevation not changed. Then the level of pipeline rise 143 mm vertical and became 20600. We can check again the correctness of this elevation. 20457 plus 143 equal is 20600. Then the pipeline continues horizontally, so the elevation at these points will not change, it will be still same, 20600 mm. 
Then the pipeline continued the level of pipeline rise 359 mm vertical and became 20959. We can check again the correctness of this elevation. 20600 plus 359 equal is 20959. Eventually the pipeline continued horizontally again and the level of the end point remained unchanged at 20,959 mm. Accordingly, the elevation of the last point of this pipeline will be 20,959 mm. By using this method, you can easily check elevations in the any piping isometric drawings. By watching the 3D model animation of this pipeline, it will be easier for you to read and understand the isometric drawing, elevations and arrows of this pipeline. I will leave a few additional pipe drawing PDFs in the description section of this video, you can also look at these drawings there. This tutorial video is finishing here, if you have any question about video, you can write comments in the comments section. Your ideas are very interesting for us. You can watch like those videos, by entering the links in the description below, of this video. If you liked our video, please subscribe to our piping tutorial channel. Your support is very important for us, let's not miss the comment. We are pleased to provide you piping educational videos. This channel is ideal for beginners and seasoned professionals. Before starting the video, be sure to click the subscribe button on below. You can get our membership packages to prepare better and useful videos for you, this motivates me even more. First of all, I would like to express my deep gratitude to our subscribers who became members to help our channel. In this video, we'll learn step by step how to calculate distance from the center of the elbow to the face of the welding neck flange in the pipe spool with easy and fast method. Let's start our education video. We prepared this video according to 6 inch 90 degree long radius and 8 inch 45 degree elbows pipe spool. In pipe fabrication, we often witness the preparation of pipe spools, which are called fitting to fitting. In order to fabricate such simple pipe spools more easily, it is necessary to know the dimensions of these pipe fittings. As you can see, in this pipe spool consists two 6 inch weld neck flange and one piece 90 degree. In this example, we will calculate the distance from the center of the 90 degree elbow to the weld neck flange face. For to calculate this distance we should be no dimension 6 inch 90 degree long radius elbow and weld neck flange. Let's look at the pipe elbow dimensions chart 90 degree elbows. Nominal pipe size of elbows is shown in this column. The outside diameter of elbows is shown in the second column. The radius of the 90 degree long radius elbows is shown in the last column. In our example we will look at row with nominal pipe size 6. The 6 inch elbow outside diameter 168.3 and center to end dimension 229 shown. Now look at the class 150 weld neck flange dimension chart. The nominal pipe size of flanges is shown in this column. The weld neck flange length is shown in this column. The 6 inch weld neck flange length 89 mm shown. Now we can write these dimensions on our example. So, in this example, we calculated and found the distance from the center of the 90 degree elbow to the weld neck flange face will be 229 plus 89 will be equals 318 millimeters. The other side of our spool also will be 318 millimeters. During the fit up before welding, this 318 millimeters should be added by 2 millimeters and 320 millimeters should be placed so that 318 millimeters will remain after welding. Now we will calculate the distance from the center of this 8 inch 45 degree elbow to the weld neck flange face. For to calculate this distance we should be no dimensions 8 inch 45 degree elbow and weld neck flange. Let's look at the pipe elbow dimensions chart 45 degree elbows. Nominal pipe size of elbows is shown in this column. The outside diameter of elbows is shown in the second column. 
The radius of the 45 degree elbows is shown in the last column. In our example, we will look at row with nominal pipe size 8. The 8 inch elbow outside diameter 219 mm and center to end dimension 127 mm shown. Now, look at the class 150 weld neck flange dimension chart. The nominal pipe size of flanges is shown in this column. The weld neck flange length is shown in this column. The 8 inch weld neck flange length 102 mm shown. Now, we can write these dimensions on our example. So, in this example, we calculated and found the distance from the center of the 8-inch 45-degree elbow to the weld neck flange face will be 127 plus 102 will be equals 229 millimeters. The other side of our spool also will be 229 millimeters. During the fit-up before welding, these 229 millimeters should be added by 2 millimeters and 231 millimeters should be placed so that 229 millimeters will remain after welding. I will put the link to the videos about elbows in the description section below, you can enter and watch. This education video is finishing here, if you find our content valuable don't forget liking and subscribing. Your support is incredibly valuable to us and motivates us to produce high quality videos. We couldn't do it without you. Thank you for visiting the Piping Engineering YouTube channel. We're excited to embark on this educational journey with you. In this video, we'll be showing you how to calculation the length of pipe piece in the Piping 3D model drawing. Please subscribe to our channel to watch more like useful video before starting this tutorial video. This video provides excellent practice information about piping skills for piping fitters. Let's starting pipe tutorial video. As you can see, the 8-inch pipeline comes horizontally, then goes down at a 45-degree angle and continues horizontally at a 45-degree angle. We are required to calculate the length of this piece of pipe used between two 45-degree but weld elbows in this pipeline. For this, we must first find the distance between the centers of the 45-degree but weld elbows. Then, if we subtract the lengths of the elbows from this distance, we can find the length of the pipe piece. To find the distance between the centers of the pipe elbows, we will use this right triangle formed by dashed lines. The hypotenuse of the vertically right angle triangle is the distance between the elbows in the pipeline. Let's mark the hypotenuse of this right angle triangle with big letter H. Since one of the angles of this right triangle is 45 degree, Automatically the other angle will be 45 degree and other side will 900 millimeters as well. We will use the Pythagorean theorem formula in such cases, to calculating the hypotenuse of this right triangle. According to the Pythagorean theorem, 900 squared plus, 900 squared is equals, big little h squared. Continued to calculate the h squared, is equals 1620000. Again, Continue to calculate the h, is equal 1620000 under the root. At last, we will use scientific calculator and found h, is equals approximately to 1273 millimeters. This measurement will also be the same as the distance between the elbows in the pipeline. Now, we need to find out 8 inch, 45 degree but weld elbows length. Pipe elbow dimensions are covered in ASMEB 16.9. Let's look at the table given the dimension but weld 45 degree elbow size 1 to 12. The nominal pipe sizes of elbows are shown in the first column of this table. This letter D written on the 45 degree elbow indicates the outside diameter of the 45 degree elbow and is shown in this column. These letters be written on the 45 degree elbow indicates the length of the center to end dimension of the 45 degree elbow and is shown in this column. Since the pipeline in our video is 8 inch, we will look at the row written as 8 inch in the NPS column. 
In this table shows that 8-inch but welded 45-degree elbows have an outside diameter of 219 mm and a center-to-tip dimension of 127 mm. Now let's go back to our main video. We already know the distance between the centers of the elbows and the lengths of the 45-degree but weld elbows. During fit-up, between pipe fittings should be cap, approximately 3 mm, it is for welding. You can see this gap for welding is practical now, in this video. During fit-up, such are opened between the pipe fittings to be welded, and a gap of approximately 3 to 4 mm. Having this 3-4 mm gap, is for better root welding. Accordingly, we can easily calculate the length of the pipe segment between the elbows. Pipe length, equal total length 1273 mm, minus 2 times 8 inch 45 degree but weld elbow dimension 127 mm, minus 2 times gaps for welding 3 mm. At last, we calculate and found length of pipe piece on this 8 inch pipe line is 1019 mm. By using this method, you can easily calculate distances between the elbows in the any pipelines. This tutorial video is finishing here, if you have any question about video, you can write comments in the comments section. Your ideas are very interesting for us. You can watch like those videos, by entering the links in the description below, of this video. In this video, we'll be showing you how to calculate slopes in pipeline. This video provides excellent information about piping skills for piping fitters. Please subscribe to our channel before starting the video. Let's starting our piping tutorial video. In this video, we will learn pipe slope calculation in the 3D model pipeline. I prepared a 3D model animation of this pipeline and put the 3D model together with the pipe drawing for you easy understand slope in piping system. As you can see in this pipeline used two pieces weld neck flanges. Two pieces 45 degree but weld pipe elbows. Two pieces 90 degree but weld pipe elbows. And five pipe pieces. In this piping isometric drawing showing some slopes with these symbols and different elevations. Elevations are shown in six places in this pipe isometry and we will be able to calculate the fall in the pipeline with these elevations. Let's start to read this pipe isometric drawing from this flange. The pipeline starting point elevation height is 19,800 mm. Then pipeline 800 mm extending to southwards and then turns to the downwards at angle 45 degree elbow. The elevation of the pipeline turns point height is 19,780 mm. Additionally, the slope symbol ratio in this part of the pipeline is 140. Meaning that for every one unit of vertical elevation there are 40 units for horizontal distance. We can calculate the slope of this part of the pipeline here. 1 colon 40 equals S 800. Or, S equals 800 divided 40. At last, calculated and found S equals 20 mm. This means that the height of the pipeline drops by 20 mm over a distance of 800 mm. Let's check this different method, with elevations levels. From 19,800 mm, which is the height level of the starting point of the pipeline, we subtract 19,780 mm, which is the height level of the downward turn point of the pipeline. 19,800 mm minus 19,780 mm equal is 20 mm. It means the slope of pipeline during 800 mm distance is 20 mm. Then pipeline continue to downwards a length 200 mm. The height elevation of this point is 19,580 mm. We can easily calculate the accuracy of this elevation 19,780 mm minus 200 mm equal is 19,580.
Then the pipeline turns with 45 degree elbow to the south direction and travel for a length of 1,700 mm. The slope symbol ratio in this part of the pipeline is showing 150. Meaning that for every one unit of vertical elevation there are 50 units for horizontal distance. We can calculate the slope of this part of the pipeline here. 1 colon 50 equals S, 1700. Or, S equals 1700 divided 50. At last, calculated and found S equals 34 millimeters. This means that the height of the pipeline drops by 34 mm over a distance of 1,700 mm. Let's check this different method, with elevation levels. From 19,580 mm, which is the height level of the starting point of this part, we subtracting 19,546 mm, which is the height level of the turn point of the pipeline. 19,580 mm minus, 19,546 mm equal, is 34 mm. It means the slope of this part of the pipeline during 1,700 mm distance, is 34 mm. In this point the pipeline turns with 90 degree elbow to the west direction, and travel for a length of 700 mm. The slope symbol ratio in this part of the pipeline is 130. Meaning that for every one unit of vertical elevation there are 30 units for horizontal distance. We can calculate the slope of this part of the pipeline here. 1 colon 30 equals S, 700. Or, S equals 700 divided 30. At last, calculated and found approximately S equals 23 millimeters. This means that the height of the pipeline drops by 23 mm over a distance of 700 mm. Let's check this different method, with elevation levels. From 19,546 mm, which is the height level of the turns to the west point of this part, we subtracting 19,523 mm, which is the height level of the turns to the south point of the pipeline. 19,546 mm minus, 19,523 mm equal, is 23 mm. It means the slope of this part of the pipeline during 700 mm distance, is 23 mm. At last, the pipeline turns with a 90 degree elbow to the south direction and travel for a length of 1,335 mm. The slope symbol ratio in this part of the pipeline is 1 hour 70 minutes. We can calculate the slope of this part of the pipeline here. 1 colon 70 equals S, 1335. Or, S equals 1335 divided 70. At last, we calculated and found approximately S equals 19 millimeters. This means that the height of the pipeline drops by 19 mm over a distance of 1,335 mm. Let's check this different method, with elevation levels. From 19,523 mm, which is the height level of the turns to the south point of this part, we subtract 19,504 mm, which is the height level of the last point of the pipeline. 19,523 mm minus, 19,504 mm equal, is 19 mm. It means the slope of this part of this pipeline during 1,335 mm distance, is 19 mm. This tutorial video is finishing here, if you have any question about video, you can write comments in the comments section. You can watch like those videos, by entering the links in the description below, of this video. If you liked our video, please subscribe to our piping engineering channel, and share these piping tutorial videos to your friends. Your support is very important for us, let's not miss the comments and likes my friends. We are pleased to provide you piping educational videos. We offer you a great way to support our channel. With our membership packages, you can grow with us and benefit from many special benefits. Before starting the video, be sure to click the subscribe button on below.
I would like to express my deep gratitude to our subscribers who became members to help our channel. In this video, we'll learn step by step how to calculate pipe in the pipe spool with easy and fast method. Let's start our education video. We prepared this video according to 6 inch pipe spool. This pipeline consists of 190 degree elbow, 145 degree elbow, 1 equal T, 3 weld neck flanges, and 2 pipe sections of different lengths. Let's calculate yellow color pipe's length in this pipeline. As you can see, in this pipeline, the distances from the center of the 90 degree elbow to the center of the equal T, and from the center of the equal T to the center of the 45 degree elbow, and also from the center of the 45 degree elbow to the face of the weld neck flange are given. If we know the equal T center to end dimension here, we can easily calculate and find the other dimensions ourselves. Also, you can see that all the pipe fittings in this pipeline are fit up together with a 3mm welding gap. Let's look at the equal T dimension chart. Nominal pipe size of equal T's are shown in the first column. The outside diameter of equal T's is shown in the second column. The center to end dimensions of equal T's are shown in the third column. This dimension belongs both sides of the equal T. And the length of the equal T is shown on the last column. In our example we will look at row with nominal pipe size 6. The 6 inch equal T outside diameter 168.3 mm shown. And the 6 inch equal T center to end dimension 143 mm shown. We will write this 143 mm measurement in our pipeline. We know from our previous videos that we use this formula to find the length of the any elbows. Elbow length is equals tangents in bracket elbow degree divided by 2 multiply 38.1 multiply nominal pipe size of elbow. Let's calculate 6 inch 90 degree elbow length with this formula. 6 inch 90 degree elbow length will be equals tangents in bracket 90 degree divided by 2 multiply 38.1 multiply 6. Using the calculator, we find that the tangents 90 divided by 2 multiply 38.1 multiply 6 will be equals 229. So, we calculated and found that the length of the 6 inch 90 degree elbow in our example will be equals 229 millimeters. We will write this 229 millimeter measurement in our pipeline also. Also, during fit up there should be a gap of about 3 millimeters between the pipe and 90 degree elbow and between the pipe and equal T to be welded. Having this gap is for better root welding. We should take these gaps into account when calculating the length of the yellow color pipe section. If we subtract the length of the 90 degree elbow, equal T center to end dimension and the gaps for welding from this total length, we can easily find the length of the first yellow color pipe section. Pipe length will be equals, the total length 978, minus 6 inch 90 degree elbow length 229, minus 6 inch equal T center to end dimension 143, and minus 2 times 3 millimeters gap for welding. At last, we calculate and found one of the first yellow color pipe length will be equals 600 millimeters. With the same method we will calculate second yellow color pipe length. Let's calculate 6 inch 45 degree elbow length with above formula. 6 inch 45 degree elbow length will be equals tangents in bracket 45 degree divided by 2 multiply 38.1 multiply 6. Using the calculator, we find that the tangents 45 divided by 2 multiply 38.1 multiply 6 will be equals 95. So, we calculated and found that the length of the 6 inch 45 degree elbow in our example will be equals 95 millimeters. We will write this 95 millimeter measurement in our pipeline also. Also, during fit up there should be a gap of about 3 millimeters between the pipe and 45 degree elbow 
and between the pipe and equal T to be welded. We should take these gaps into account when calculating the length of the yellow color pipe section. If we subtract the length of the 45 degree elbow, equal T center to end dimension and the 3 mm gaps from this total length, we can easily find the length of the second yellow color pipe section. Pipe length will be equals, the total length 644, minus 6 inch 45 degree elbow length 95, minus 6 inch equal T center to end dimension 143, and minus 2 times 3 mm gap for welding. At last, we calculate and found one of the second yellow color pipe length will be equals 400 mm. Also, from this total length 187 mm subtract 45 degree elbow length and 3 mm gap, we can easily calculate 6 inch weld neck flange length. The weld neck flange length will be equals, the total length 187, minus 95, minus 3. At last, we calculate and found 6 inch weld neck flange length will be equals 89 mm. I will put the link to the videos about elbows in the description section below, you can enter and watch. That's a wrap for today's educational video. Graduation cap if you found our content valuable, please like and subscribe to our channel. Your support helps us create more great content for you. We're very happy to embark on this educational journey with you. Thank you for visiting and watching the Piping Engineering YouTube channel.